beautiful family, Stephen here. So I'm on the obviously I'm on the train now and just come back from Hull. And uh, ooh, what a day! Lockers and scoffers out in force, and um, you can see the Antichrist spirit in, in many people. And uh, anyway, I gave out a lot of gospel tracks today. Surprised at how many people took them. People were coming up to me, just you know, who weren't walking towards me. They were coming up from from shops. And can I have one of those, please? You know, like this. So, oh look, one of the nasty towers there. Uh, yeah, people just coming up and just uh, just asking for them. But um, oh, I tell you, some of the guys, I, I sudden lethargy and fatigue has come upon me, and I. I, f I, f I feel absolutely uh, worn out, to be honest. I mean, I, although I've got that rucksack, I, I'm actually sat over there. I just came out here, here to out of the way. But it's just, uh, oh, my feet are killing me. But I'm not complaining. Um, I, I'm grateful that the Lord would, would use a wretch like me to, to proclaim the, the good news of the gospel. Um, you know? tell you something as well, I get this feeling, uh, there was an urgency in, in, in my heart today, I don't know if you can hear it in the videos or not, I've only watched one video just to see how it was, how it was. but uh, my gosh, uh, I, I can just tell by the, I mean Jesus said that in the last days um, children would rise up against their parents and cause them to be killed, that's during the tribulation. But, um, and the love of many will grow cold and I'm seeing this happen I'm seeing this happen now so if it's happening now how close are we to the rapture and the tribulation because um, that we are not appointed to God's wrath but to obtain salvation at the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ I just want to address one thing so many people think to keep up these good works in order to maintain their salvation um, and they, they wrongly divide, they don't rightly divide the word of God because the Bible says very clearly by grace are we saved through faith, faith in Jesus obviously and it's not of ourselves, it's the, it's the gift of God and it's not of works, I don't know how, how many, much more clear it can get it's not of works, lest any man should boast. Once you're saved, Ephesians 4.30, you're, you're sealed until the day of redemption. Is that, hold on a second, guys, while I just clean that camera lens. Just a second. Whoops. It's still going. Let's have a look. Hold on a minute, I think. Hold on. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> the camera lens was all murky I don't know if you can see better now but anyway yeah Ephesians 4 30 you're sealed until the day of redemption once you were born again once you have believed that Jesus Christ died on that cross for you he was buried and rose again from the dead for all our sins once you believe that you're born again born of God you purchased with the shed blood of Jesus and, and to, to say that you can lose your salvation is ridiculous. It's like saying, oh, Jesus' blood wasn't enough to save us, you know? I don't, I don't, know, what it, I don't know what it is with people. Uh, they, I just, it's, it's like they just can't accept the simplicity that is in Jesus. They can't accept that, you know, he's done it all. Uh, we don't have to add to, take away from, um, we don't have to do any of that to keep our salvation. I mean, it's a done deal. We're saved, past tense, sealed, past tense until the day of redemption. So there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment. I watched. I won't mention his name, but there's a guy I'm, I'm sub to, and he was saying that Jesus Christ is coming for a spotless church, right? But it's not us that um, uh, help us to be spotless. It's the blood of Jesus which has made us the righteousness of God 
in him, in Christ. So that's uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. I, 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 mm, I'm, I can't, that's 20 something, I can't remember, but we are the righteousness of God in him. So, you know, I, I, I get a bit fed up sometimes with with people saying, oh, if you're lukewarm, if, if you're. Um, not keeping up the good works like you said um, then you're not going in the rapture I mean it's ridiculous really it is I mean if you're sealed until the day of redemption then that's it you, you see you, 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 you're marked until the day of redemption whether you're still battling with some sin or not and um, you know blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. So that's us guys, sheep, sheep of God. Oh, sheep, sheep of God. Oh, it always does that when I turn to him, never mind. But uh, yeah, we're sealed until the day of redemption and I, I don't know how much more clearer that is. I mean, what do people, what more do people need to know? Um, you, you know, Psalm 118, I think it might be verse 4 or 5, I think it's verse 5. It says that the mercies of God are above the heavens. So how can anybody say, you know, I mean people are putting fear into people. They're making people look look below them, you know, by saying, oh, you're, you're not keeping up the good works. You, you do nothing or... or you are still battling with that sin, so you'll be left behind. And they're putting fear into people that they're going to get left behind at the rapture. It's just not happening. Jesus Christ is taking all born-again believers up in the rapture. Otherwise, it would contradict the word of God. They're sealed until the day of redemption. So anyway, anyway, enough about that. I don't, I, it does me head in, though. It does me head in, though. If people are putting fear into people, it's unnecessary, unnecessary. God is all powerful and his mercies are above the heavens. I mean, the greatest of man's mercy doesn't come close to the least of God's mercies. You know, God wants all to be saved. He loves people. He wants them all to be saved. And um, once they're saved, that's it. They're purchased with blood, spotless blood of the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ. And he does not lose one. If, you know, he's not going to leave 99 sheep down here, uh, uh, take 99 sheep up, should I say, and leave one behind. He goes, oh, oh, he couldn't be, he, he, he still smokes cigarettes, so he, he's not, he, he's not going into rapture. I mean, it's ridiculous, it is. Anyway, I don't want to pay too much attention to it, but I just get it all the time. I get it all the time from fellow believers. They're my brothers and sisters, but they, they put these stumbling blocks in people's way, really. Um, so don't listen to people who tell, tell you you can lose your salvation. Don't, tell, don't listen to people who say you've got to be here for great tribulation, apocalypse, because it's not true. I, I, I'm speaking straight from what God has told me and through his word and through Holy Spirit he's told me his mercies are so great so great and the only requirement for somebody to be saved is not that they get all religious not that they repent from every sin no the only requirement is believe Believe in your heart the death and burial and resurrection of Jesus for all our sins. And don't be afraid or ashamed to, to call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So simple. God made it so simple. And it's men that complicate the simplicity that is in Jesus Christ. Anyway, it was nice to see Brother Lee. Um, on the streets today, but one thing is is the book of James, right? The book of the book of James, and lots of people use that to to try to prove that you know without without your uh, works.
you won't make it into heaven. But I mean, just look at the beginning of the book of James and who it's entitled to. It's entitled to the 12 tribes of Israel, right? <coughs> so there you go. It's not saying to the church, it's saying to the 12 tribes of Israel. However, there is some good stuff in there. There is some good stuff in there and, and it's useful for the believer. You, know, you have to rightly divide the word of God and know when it's speaking to the church or whether it's speaking to the Hebrews, you know, when, of 12 tribes, like I just said. And uh, all of the Bible is for the believer not all the Bible is talking about the church, um, the called out ones, you know. So anyway guys, I think this is a place called oh, Driffield, yes, yeah, so I'm not that far from where I live now. So anyway, I thank you all, if you prayed for me, thank you all, I love you all, beautiful family, Jesus Christ is coming today, it felt like, uh, it felt like I was, uh, Shouting out, I was bellowing out like like it could be the last call, and I believe it is. I don't believe we'll get to the end of this year. Absolutely not. If we get to the end of next month, I'll be most surprised. I, I mean, you, you can see what's going on around the world. They're about to introduce a digital ID. It's going to be some implant in the right hand or the forehead. The Northern service to Scarborough. The next stop is Anyway, I'll get off. I'll get off, guys. But uh, yeah, they're about to introduce this digital ID. It, it might not be the mark, but it's one step to the mark. It's the next step. So nobody will be able to buy or sell unless they have that. But I tell you something. They're not sticking now in me. I'll tell you that now. They're not sticking in me, even if it means I have to die of starvation. They're still not sticking it in me. Anyway, God has promised to provide all our need according to our abundant riches in glory. So if you're suffering want of any type, you know, that, that only money can buy, then, then put your trust in the Lord and stand on that verse that he will supply all your need according to his abundant riches in glory. Jesus said, ask and you will receive. So, ask. Bible says the reason we don't have what we want is that we don't ask God for it. So don't remember, don't forget to ask beautiful family. I'm going to get off. Um, I love you all. Jesus Christ is coming, and that's why I've been on the streets for the last three years. I love you all. See you soon.